everyone today's model question is regarding ground water in india ground water is one of the most important resources of a nation and for various purpose like agriculture and irrigation and like providing safe drinking water we need to depend on the ground water especially for a nation like india like who is rain fed or or who is predominantly dependent on monsoon right we need to make use of the ground water and we need to efficiently use the water the ground water without exploiting it but unlike this in uh, the most of the cases or in many of the parts in india we are witnessing the ground water exploitation and for this reason you can expect a prelims question regarding the ground water use in india in many parts of the nation like we are reporting large amount of ground water being depleted right so this picture shows the red marked region shows regions where the ground water is being exploited right or like the amount is being depleted and especially in the regions like the the punjab the haryana rajasthan and some parts of like the karnataka and andhra pradesh we are having the depleted amount of ground water or the ground water is being depleted in these places right so there are two terms related with ground water that you need to keep in mind the first one the aquifer aquifer and the second one is water table so aquifer means like the regions where the water is stored the ground water is stored and that we call it as like the aquifers in the sense imagine the top surface of the crustal regions like the rock and soil and everything right the water will seep towards the ground or underneath this top surface and it will get collected in certain regions and these regions we call it as aquifers right and the second one the water table now the water table means like the level of the ground water we mean by the term the water table in the sense if in rainy season right the water table will be higher in the sense water will be more close the ground water will be more closer to the surface and during the dry period the ground water will be more deeper inside the interior right in the crustal region itself so like the aquifer and water table water table means the amount of the ground water right now regarding the distribution of the ground water in india like you know, we can we can divide the regions into broadly into three like the mountainous and hilly regions and the peninsular region and then the coastal regions right in the hilly or mountainous regions the ground water or the surface water won't penetrate into the subsurface right so the amount of ground water will be generally less in the mountainous and hilly regions because the water cannot seep towards the underground unlike this if you are considering a valley or a plain right if you are considering india's case if you are considering the northern plain right the northern plain will be having more ground water in it because from all the regions from the himalayan from plus the peninsular region the water will be carried towards these plains and the water can seep towards the underground for this reason like the northern plains will be having more amount of ground water right then if you are considering the peninsular regions right in india the peninsular region is having different geology than the himalayan ranges or the plains or anything because the peninsula was formed way back in the geological time scale right for this reason the peninsular plateau or the peninsular block is made up of hard igneous or metamorphic rock right they won't be allowing the water to seep into the underground for this reason the ground water in the peninsula region they won't be much connected or they won't be having large um, vast areas of ground water won't be available in the peninsula region right this is very broad scale even though that being said there are certain regions having more amount of ground water within the peninsula region itself right but generally you can say that the peninsula regions the ground water it won't be extensive and will be able to find near to the surface right now if we consider the case of coastal areas right the coastal plains on both the western coastal side as well as the eastern eastern coast right these coastal areas will be having more ground water but the chances are that this ground water will get polluted or like you know will get saline because of the 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 contact with the oceans right the oceanic water will seep into this ground water and the salinity of the soil i mean the ground water the salinity of the ground water will be higher in coastal areas right so regarding the distribution you have to understand that the ground water is less in the mountain and the hilly regions and they're more found over the northern plains right and if you are considering the the peninsula regions the ground water because of the geology the ground water will be more towards the surface and in coastal areas we will be have we are having good resource of ground water but the problem is that it will become more and more and more saline right 
Now let's go back to the question. So it's a three statement question plus it's a not based question, right? I mean the question is which of the statement given above is or are not correct. Okay. So going through the first statement, the presence and availability of groundwater is almost even throughout India. So here the keyword is almost even throughout India. So the statement is saying throughout the India, the availability and presence of groundwater is almost same, which is wrong, right? In hilly regions, the availability is less. In the plains, the availability is more, right? So the groundwater availability is not even throughout India. So the first statement is wrong, right? So you can eliminate all the options without one in it. Okay. So you can eliminate B as well as C because the question is like, you know, which of the following statement is not correct. So one is not correct. So it should be in the answer, right? The answer is either A or it's B. And from that, we understood that the third statement is correct, right? Going through the third statement, the total replenishable groundwater reserves are highest in hilly tracts of Sikkim, Nagaland and Tripura, right? In the hilly tracks or in the hilly regions, the groundwater won't get replenished. Replenished in the sense, you know, we are rejuvenating or we are allowing the water to seep in so that the water level, the water table will be filled, right? But in hilly regions, this won't take place because the surface runoff in the sense, from the, through the surface, the water will be moving with high velocity because of the slope, right? So water won't penetrate deep into the the groundwater or into the ground, underground, right? For this reason, the this statement is wrong because in hilly tracks, the groundwater, the amount of replenishable amount of groundwater is less, it's not the highest, right? This statement would have been true if it was given instead of the hilly tracks, if it was given like the, the valleys or like the northern plains, the statement would have been true. So anyway, the third statement is wrong, right? And let's go to the second statement. If the second statement is wrong, answer would be D, otherwise it would be A. So the second statement, the demand for groundwater increased with the advent of green revolution, right? So green revolution, like uh, it demanded more effective use of uh, the water plus the fertilizers and pesticides and all, right? And with the green revolution, we, we started to industrialize the agriculture. And for this reason, right, more amount of water was needed. But in India's case, we were heavily dependent on monsoon. That means from June to September, we will be having the rainfall available. And in the other, I mean, other months, the water won't be available and it will be dry. And during this dry period, we will be needing to depend more on groundwater. Or if you need to irrigate more land, right, through canal irrigation or something, we will be depending more on groundwater. For all these reasons, right, with the advent of green revolution, the, the, uh, the demand for the groundwater increased or the use of the groundwater increased, we started to exploit groundwater, right? The second statement is true, so it cannot be the answer. So we can eliminate two from the options and the answer comes out as A, which is one and three only, right? So like the presence, presence and availability of groundwater is not even throughout India plus like the, the replenishable amount of groundwater is more there in the northern plains, not in the hilly tracks, right? Plus, the, the use of the groundwater increased with the advent of Green Revolution. So here, answer comes out as A, which is 1 and 3 only.